Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Aqua Penguin class. I'm Miss Jennifer. I hope you all had a wonderful week. I sure did. I went outside, enjoyed this beautiful weather. Have you been outside? Have you played outside? And aren't you thankful that God has created this beautiful place for us? God also provided us with our family and friends and food for us to eat and the shelter, a place to live. Let's thank God for what he has done for us, shall we? Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much for what you have created for all of us. Lord, thank you, especially for Caleb, for Adeline, for Lincoln, for Christine, for Vera, for Reagan, and for Flora, that you have brought each one of them into this class. Lord, I just thank you and pray that you be with us in this class. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Well, boys and girls, who can tell me what we have been learning the last two lessons? Hmm? I think I hear someone say, Moses. Yes, you are right. It is Moses. Remember we talk about Moses when he was in, when he was a baby, how God protected him. And then he grew up in the palace. Yes. And then last week we talk about he fled to a place called Median and then became a shepherd. And then one day he saw the burning bush. Yes, and God spoke to him through the burning bush. Yeah. So today we are continuing on Moses' story because his story is not, has not ended yet. It's still, we're still learning. And it, the story is from Exodus. Remember, it's a book in the Bible. It's Exodus 14, okay? Um, remember last week when God spoke to Moses in the burning bush? Was Moses ready to go? No. Moses, actually, today, Peter is going to be Moses. Yes, last week was Grace's turn. So this week, it's going to be Moses' turn. I mean, Peter's turn. So they're friends, they can take turns. So God sent Moses and Moses was did not want to go because he said, I, I can't do it, remember? And God said, okay, I will send your brother Aaron with you and he would help you, he would speak for you. So you and him, you and Aaron can go to Pharaoh. And Moses like, yes. Yes, Lord. Okay, we will go. So Moses went back to Egypt, went back to the palace, went to see King. Oh, he first went to see his people, the Hebrews, and tell them about what God's plan, that God has a plan. God has heard their cry because they their life was so hard. They'd be mistreated by the Egyptians. They made them work very hard. They were slaves. They work and don't get paid much. So their life was, was very bad. So God, so God told Moses to go back to tell the Hebrews that God had a plan to take, save them, to take them out of Egypt. So, but first, Moses and Aaron they have to go to see King, Her King Pharaoh to ask King Pharaoh to let all the Hebrews go. Okay, not just one, not just two, but all. And there are thousands and thousands of Hebrews okay, living in Egypt back then. So Moses went into the palace to see King Pharaoh. So he asked King Pharaoh, I want you to let my people go. And King Pharaoh said, No, I will not let them go. Why would I let them go? They've been working so well for me here, for all of us here. No. And Moses went back with Aaron. Okay, went back and they prayed. And so in the meantime, something unusual happened. So 
Next day, a few days later, you'll come back. So he will ask, King Pharaoh still say no. So they do this back and forth, back and forth, many times. Okay? And there's something something bad happened, something, unu something unusual happened to people in Egypt. So finally, back and forth, back and forth. Nope, nope, nope. Finally, one night, God told Moses, you tell your people, get ready. Okay, tell your people, get ready. So he did, he tell his people to get ready. He didn't know what God's going to do, but he knows that something is happening. So that night, King Pharaoh summoned Moses. Please, you guys just leave. I have enough. This is so bad. Please leave. Please go. Please just take all your, your sheep, your cow and everything, just leave us. So Moses heard that immediately he went back to his people, tell them to, don't worry about packing. We need to just get what you have. Pick up, you, you have your bread, might not become just a bread dough. It's not become a bread yet. They didn't have time to bake. So it's just bread dough, get you some clothes. He told everybody, let's pack up something. Let's get going, let's go, let's go, let's go. So he tells all the mothers, fathers, kids, and they all pack up their little bit of bags. Oh, where's the bag? They pack up their little bags. They all get their stuff, get ready to leave. They all pack up. So they all go because, you know, they don't know when King Pharaoh might change his mind, okay? So he told his people, let's get going, let's go. All right, so they, that night, that night, it's at night, they all packed up, okay? They all go. So Grace has to get going. So Grace packed up too, yeah. They all get going, oh, go, go, go. So that, they're walking. Now, do you know where, Mo do you know Moses know where to go? Moses, do you know where you're going? No. No, he doesn't. Hmm. But, you know what? God does. God knows where to go. Okay? So, God put a big cloud. Big cloud. A big cloud. A big cloud in the sky. Okay? Big cloud. So, Moses will follow. And then as Moses follow the cloud, the people follow Moses, okay? So when the clouds like this, it's kind of give, in daytime, it gives the people shade so they don't get too hot from the sun, you know? So this is during the day. So they walked and then walked and then walked and then walked until they came to this this Red Sea, the sea, the sea, yeah, that they can't, there's no bridge to cross. They can't cross over the bridge. Wow, see the bridge, the water. Oh, there's no way they can cross. What are they going to do? What are they going to do? There are people, there are King Pharaoh is still chasing after them, still coming to chase. He's still coming, okay? So when he come to the sea, he didn't know what to do. And he went to pray. He went to pray. He said, Lord, please help us. Guess what God told him. God said, stretch out, hold out your staff and stretch out your arm over the sea. Exactly what he did. When he did that, God sent a strong wind. And the ocean. 
is star parting. <sighs> wow! Did you see that? There's a path. There's a path. There's a path. And then, and people were like, yes, we can walk by. We won't get drowned. So he let people, people follow. They went across the ocean. Yes. They're like, yes, yes. And then, but who's chasing after them? Who's chasing? It's the king Pharaoh and his army. They chase, they say, yes, there's a path. So we got, oh, but you know what? Moses was on the other side. He stretched out his arm again. And guess what happened? All oh, the water came back, came back, came back. And he swallowed the whole army. And no one was alive. So everybody was gone. But who's safe? But who's safe? Yes, all the Hebrews, they cross over. They were all safe. They were all safe. Yes, they were safe. Yay, they're so happy. Finally, God's people were free. And they knew God had saved them. Yes, so you know what? Moses wrote a beautiful song to praise God. And they all sang it and they rejoiced. And that night, that night, they stopped, they set up their tent, you know, tent, like a little tent, that's their house. So they, they rest, they rested. And then when they look up in the sky during the night, do you know what they see? What do they see? They see the fire, a pillars of fire. You know why? Because it is so dark at night, they couldn't see anything. But the fire lit up the sky so they can see. And that's another sign that God is with them. God is going to guide them at night too. You know, remember earlier in the daytime, what did God show up us? Do you remember? God showed up us. God provided the cloud to lead them. Yes, cloud in the daytime, and then at night, God provided a pillar of fire so they can see. So, you know, God is with us, just like he was with the Israelites when they, when they fled Egypt. All that time, God was with them. God provided the clouds and the fire, and God provided the safe passage in the ocean so they can cross. Is it God, God wonderful? Let's, let's, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, you are just a wonderful God. We just thank you. Thank you for saving us. Thank you for saving the Israelites long, long time ago. Lord, you are our Savior. We just thank you for loving us. Lord, help us to be the light of this world. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Now, it's time to sing our song. What, what is our song? Do you remember? I am with you always, always, always. I am with you always. Matthew 28, 20. I am with you always, always always i am with you always matthew 28 20. god is with you and with me always i love you all boys and girls i'll see you next week <laughs>